Is there really such a thing as a digital brain? Hi, I'm Shelly Hitz, owner of Author Audience Academy and ShellyHitz.com. And this year, I've started using Evernote as my digital brain. It helps me to remember things that I would normally just send myself an email. I'm trying to stay out of my email inbox more to be more productive and Evernote is helping me to do that. It also helps me to organize things for my writing, publishing, and marketing. Let me just show you how to get started with Evernote. So what you'll see is I'm on the Evernote app on my iPhone right now. You can use Evernote on your iPad, your other mobile devices, and online. Plus, you can download Evernote to your computer and use it in that way. I found that if you download Evernote from on your computer, that it has more functionality than just using the online portion. But the cool thing about Evernote is you can use it anywhere you're at because you can log in online on your phone, on your mobile device, on your computer, and everything is right there. So the basic way that you organize things on Evernote are through either notebooks or tags. And there's two different thought processes. With notebooks, you only get 250 notebooks. So you, that means you don't want to clog up your notebooks and with too many things. So what I have done is I have created a set of notebooks that are just my basic notebooks and then you can organize all of your notes within your notebooks with tags. And so that way you can find anything and everything. And a quick tip with Evernote, you can see here I've put exclamation points in front of the notebook name. The three exclamation points makes it come up first on my list. And then these are the ones that I use the most often. My good morning, good life, that's my morning routine. I have things in there, my quotes, notebook, I have things that I post for social media quotes, systems, That's those are the notes that I create my checklist for things that I do over and over and that I use with outsourcers. I have my to-do notebook, a blog post notebook, business ideas, inbox and then processed is where I can put things that I've dealt with but I don't want to delete. And then I have projects active, inactive, and reference. And then I have some other things down here but you can see some basic notebooks, notebook ideas there. Now I'm still figuring out my system and I may change this eventually but it just gives you an idea of how you might want to organize your notebooks. Now I'm going to show you how to use Evernote within my quotes notebook. Here is where I keep different quotes that I may want to post on social media, my hashtags for Instagram, what to post. And what I want to show you is how to create a new note. So you'll just click on the plus sign and then you can put your title up there. What you can do is when you edit, you can take a picture like, you know, snap a picture there, you see my, <laughs> my keyboard. You can add a picture from your camera roll. You can create an audio note. Hey, this is a test for an audio note. And you can keep that audio note in there. Or you can add lists. So you can do bulleted lists. You can do numbered lists and you can do checklists. So checklists are very helpful for like my systems and things that I do like that. So those are some of the basics of Evernote. Now you can also click that bottom left hand icon to go back to full screen there. And what you can do is just then create, say, save. So once you have this here, say you want to come back and listen. Hey, this is a test for an audio note. And you can hear that was um, in there. Hey, this is a test for an audio note. Yep. And you can um, edit things in here. You can see the information. Can and where you know you can add tags in there if you want to add different tags. 
And in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see some different things here. If you want to simplify the formatting, like say you want to make it plain text, you can do it there. And I'll just go ahead and do that. And you can see what it did was it simplified everything into plain text. This is especially helpful if you're writing in Evernote and you're going to copy and paste that text into a template for Kindle, or if you're going to copy and paste it for a blog post and you don't want all the extra formatting to copy over, you just, again, let me show you, you come over to the bottom right hand corner, you tap that and then you click on simplify formatting, make plain text. And that's the way that that does it. The cool thing with Evernote is you can also share a note privately or publicly. You can just click share. And what you can do is say copy link and it will allow you to make a public link or a private link. So let's say you wanted to create a public link that you could then share on online. Well, then you can just get that link and what it will do is it will create a page and you can see here's my test note and everyone will have access that has that link to that note. So it's a way to, to share information. I saw someone on a webinar just this week give a link to an Evernote note for the handout for the webinar. And basically they just gave the Evernote link. So that's a really cool feature within Evernote as well that you can share those notes. And you can add it as a shortcut. There's also a shortcut menu on your main menu if you want to add something as a shortcut. You can see here the shortcuts menu is right here. So that gives you a idea of how to get started with Evernote. You have your notebooks, you have your tags, and then you have the notes, which are the heart of Evernote. And another quick tip is you can do reminders. So you can have a task and you can say when you want it to be a reminder, or you can go into the note and on the bottom left hand corner, you can add a reminder as well. And you know, that is a really great feature as well. So I hope that gave you a great overview of Evernote and how to get started with Evernote. Evernote is a great way for authors to make their book outlines, to write chapters in there, you can dictate, and even to create content for marketing and organize everything for even your entire life. So this is Shelly Hitz from Author Audience Academy and ShellyHitz.com. And I encourage you to go check out Evernote.